Hi, welcome to today's video. We're going to be discussing Google for nonprofits. If you're a nonprofit organization, I want to introduce you to some of the offerings that Google has available for you. And if you haven't been in here yet, I want to give you a chance and a walkthrough to show you what this is about. First off, start at google.com forward slash nonprofits. And let's take a look at the overview of what Google for Nonprofits is. This is really an opportunity for you as a nonprofit organization leader to spread the word about your mission and engage with new people that you may not have been able to before or even have been able to afford. So this has several options. And we have Google Workspace, Ads, YouTube, and Earth. So let's take a look at each one of these and the benefits that they have. In the Google Workspace for nonprofits, you can be collaborative with your team and efficient in your workspace. And we'll, sh we'll compare plans here. The nonprofit workspace is available to you for free. You have your professional email address with your domain, uh, video meetings, shared space, so you can record and save and document um, up to 100 terabytes with all of your users. There's security and management controls and standard support. If you wanted to upgrade from the nonprofit, they have different tiers that you can upgrade, but with the nonprofit status, that's a great place to get started. And let's go on to the ad grants. With the ad grants, you have to get approved and you will be using their advertising to drive traffic to your website. And with the Google ad grants, they're text only and they're on the search result pages. But with them, you have the ability to craft ad campaigns and, and copy to reach more donors online. You get access to up to $10,000 of in-kind advertising every month for, as they say here, text ads. You can raise, raise awareness for your cause, drive traffic to your website, track your marketing efforts, and reach the people who need your help. When you drive traffic to your website, your fundraising, recruiting, and volunteers get more exposure. When you have just brand awareness, you can reach supporters when they use the search. With the ad grant, your ad's going to show up when people are using those keyword searches that's relevant to your nonprofit. And if you combine your ad grants with Google Analytics, then you can measure and understand your organization's online marketing performance to do better. And there's a lot of tools inside the ad grants that are going to help you um, to optimize that. And there's some standards and suggestions that they'll give you through there. And then when people are searching for your services, they'll be able to find you because you're going to show up in the search results. And um, ad grants are one of the things that we help nonprofits manage and get started and turned on and approved. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can reach out to me and we'll help you through that process. The next one is the YouTube nonprofit program. So if you can use nonprofit platforms to reach your audience, YouTube has the ability for you to, to share your videos, your message, the uh, many things that you have to st tell your story and then reach that audience. And then it also is easy for supporters to give with YouTube giving features in the US. YouTube has the ability for you to reach a global audience with a billion users across 88 countries. You're going to be able to reach 18 to 49 year olds and hopefully that is going to be your audience as well. When you start storytelling, you have a powerful way to show the scope of your work and inspiring others and getting engagement and fundraising through video. When researching nonprofits to support, people often watch the videos. So this is an awesome opportunity for you to inspire donors and make it easy for people to give to your organization. 
with YouTube, you'll be able to connect with your community. Building that global audience allows you to share videos and talk directly to your audience and dedicated followers. And then you have the tools at your disposal to educate about your cause and be more effective at reaching and connecting with your audience. And the last thing that's in the Google for Nonprofits section is Google Earth and Maps. This is a way for you to show impact. And those data visualizations help track and share your impact and help people locate community programs and resources. And let's look at the benefits. When we connect people to resources, we can use maps to locate the programs and the things that are near your audience. And it helps with taking action and visualizing your impact. With street level 360 of your location, it helps people to feel more confident to engaging with your location. And you can also use maps on your site with the My Maps collaborative tools. You can share custom maps and then create a donor map as well. With Google Maps platform credits, create maps where people can see how their donation and contribution is making a difference. And that really does have to do with the type of organization that you are and how people are helping um, depending on the type of nonprofit and the services that you provide. That's something that people can really engage in. So this is an opportunity for you for free as a nonprofit to take advantage of Google and the services that they have available to you to help you do more. There's different countries and I just want to let you know this is the United States, but as you do a drop down right here, you're going to be able to see different countries. So if you're not in the United States, that's perfectly fine. There's other opportunities for you as available in the platform. I just wanted to take this time to train you on what is available for you, how you can collaborate and be more productive and efficient. Again, with the Google Workspace for Nonprofits, Google Ad Grants to raise awareness for your organization, and engage your supporters with video using the nonprofit program that's available to you there, and your impact with Google Earth and Maps. I hope this was a helpful introduction to Google Nonprofits, and if you have more questions, reach out, put it in the comments, or reach out to me on social media.